If you are passionate about learning new things and discovering interesting facts, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Together, let's explore the world around us in a fun and educational way. Sign up now and be part of this journey of discovery. Haunted houses have fascinated and terrified people throughout history. The stories behind these places are full of mysteries, inexplicable events, and often, tragedies that left deep marks, resulting in supposed hauntings. In various parts of the world, there are buildings whose stories defy logic and awaken fear in anyone who explores them. We will delve into the legends and stories of the most famous haunted houses in the world, exploring their locations, why they are considered haunted and the terrifying events that supposedly occur in these places. 1. Winchester Mansion, San Jose, California, USA The Winchester Mansion is one of the most iconic and well-known places when it comes to haunted houses. Located in San Jose, California, this Victorian mansion, with more than 160 rooms, is famous both for its labyrinthine architecture and the stories of hauntings associated with it. A house was built by Sarah Winchester, widow of William Wirt Winchester, the creator of the famous Winchester rifle. After the deaths of her husband and daughter, Sarah consulted a medium who told her that the family was being haunted by the spirits of the people who had been killed by Winchester guns. To appease these spirits, she must build a house that would never be finished. From then on, Sarah began construction of the mansion, which lasted more than 38 years, until the day of her death in 1922. The house has a bizarre architecture, stairs that lead to nowhere, doors that open onto walls, windows on the floor and hidden rooms. It is believed that this confusion was on purpose, to confuse the spirits that supposedly haunted Sarah. Reports of paranormal activity are common at Winchester Mansion. Employees and visitors reported hearing mysterious footsteps, feeling sudden changes in temperature, and many claim to have seen ghostly figures in the hallways. Legend has it that Sarah still roams the mansion's rooms, overseeing the place. 2. Brand Castle, Transylvania, Romania Brand Castle, situated in mysterious Transylvania, is commonly associated with the legend of Dracula. Although the real Count Dracula, Vlad the Impaler, never officially resided in the castle, the legend and folklore surrounding the place are enough to attract the curious and horror story enthusiasts. Bran Castle, built in the 13th century, has an imposing architecture, with tall towers and narrow corridors. It was used as a fortress to protect the region from Ottoman invaders. However, what really perpetuated his fame was his connection with Bram Stoker and the fictional character Dracula. The cruel Vlad Teeps, Vlad the Impaler, is believed to have inspired the creation of the vampire Dracula. Vlad was known for his brutality, torturing and impaling his enemies, often leaving them on public display to frighten anyone who dared challenge him. The combination of these stories with the gothic atmosphere of the castle created an environment ripe for supernatural legends. Many people claim to feel a sinister presence as they walk through the castle's corridors. There are reports of voices whispering in ancient languages, figures moving along the walls, and a constant feeling of being watched. Although much of the haunted atmosphere is fueled by vampire legends, Brand Castle remains one of the most popular destinations for ghost hunters and horror fans. 3. The Amityville House, New York, USA The story of the Amityville House is one of the best known worldwide, especially after the release of the book and films that portray the sinister events that took place there. Located in Long Island, New York, the residence number 112, on Ocean Avenue holds a macabre history that has forever marked the quiet neighborhood. In 1974, Ronald DeFeo Jr. brutally murdered his parents and four siblings as they slept. He claimed to have been guided by voices that urged him to commit the murders. A year after the massacre, the Lutz family purchased the house, but soon moved out after just 28 days, claiming unexplained phenomena terrified them. George and Kathy Lutz reported witnessing shadowy figures, 
horrible odors that appeared out of nowhere, and sudden changes in temperature. George claimed to wake up every night at exactly 3.15 a.m., the same time the murders occurred. Furthermore, objects moved on their own and strange sounds echoed throughout the house. The authenticity of the events is often debated, but the Amityville house remains an icon in the haunted house world. 4. Tower of London, London, England The Tower of London, one of the most popular tourist attractions in the United Kingdom, is also one of the most haunted places in the world. With more than a thousand years of history, the fortress was the scene of executions, torture and conspiracies, leaving a dark legacy. Built in the 11th century by William the Conqueror, the Tower of London served as a fortress, prison and even a royal palace. However, it is best known as the execution site of historical figures such as Anne Bullen, the second wife of Henry VIII. She was beheaded in the tower in 1536, accused of treason, and her spirit is one of the most reported by visitors. Among the most famous apparitions are Anne Bullen herself, who is often seen wandering around without her head, and the ghosts of the princes in the tower, Edward V and his younger brother Richard who mysteriously disappeared and are widely believed to be murder victims. Tower guards and tourists have reported visions of ghostly figures, doors opening on their own, and screams echoing off the walls. 5. The Whaley House, San Diego, California, USA Considered by many to be the most haunted house in the United States, the Whaley House was built in 1857 by Thomas Whaley in San Diego, California. The building has a history full of tragedies, executions and premature deaths. Before the house was built, the land on which it stands was used for public executions. The most famous spirit to haunt the site is that of James Yankee Jim Robinson, who was hanged for robbery in 1852. Whaley, who witnessed the execution, purchased the land years later and built the house. Over the years, members of the Whaley family died inside the residence, including Thomas himself and his wife. Suicides, illnesses and accidents marked the house's history, fueling beliefs in hauntings. Visitors and employees report feeling heavy presences, hearing footsteps and doors slamming on their own. Hazy figures appear in photographs, and it is said that the ghost of Yankee Jim still walks the halls. The Whaley House is so famous that it is now a museum that attracts thousands of visitors interested in paranormal activities. 6. The Farm of the Peron Family, Harrisville, Rhode Island, USA This farm became widely known after the film Conjuring, based on real events that took place in the 1970s. The Peron family, consisting of Roger, Carolyn and their five children, moved to a farmhouse in Harrisville, Rhode Island, and soon realized they were not alone. The house, built in the 18th century, supposedly housed the spirit of Bathsheba Sherman, a woman accused of witchcraft and child sacrifice. Several tragic events have occurred at the house over the years, including deaths and suicides, which have contributed to its reputation for being haunted. The Perone family reported a range of paranormal phenomena, from objects moving on their own to physical attacks. Carolyn Perone was most affected, reportedly being chased and attacked by Bathsheba's spirit. Paranormal investigator couple Ed and Lorraine Warren were called in to investigate the case, which later inspired the film. To this day, the house is the subject of paranormal investigations and continues to attract ghost hunters from around the world. 7. The House of Monte Cristo, New South Wales, Australia Monte Cristo House is considered the most haunted residence in Australia. Located in Juni, New South Wales, this Victorian mansion was built in 1885 and has a macabre history of violent deaths and tragedies. The house belonged to the Crawley family, who suffered several tragic losses. The matriarch, Elizabeth Crawley, reportedly never left the house after her husband's death, completely isolating herself until her own death. Additionally, reports of employee deaths and a child thrown down the stairs contributed to the place's haunted reputation. 
visitors frequently report sightings of ghostly figures, unexplained noises and an oppressive atmosphere. It is believed that Elizabeth Crawley's spirit still inhabits the house, being seen in a bedroom window where she remained secluded for years. Additionally, the spirit of a maid who fell, or was pushed, down the stairs is another reported presence in the house. 8. House of the Seven Chimneys, Lima, Peru The House of the Seven Chimneys, located in the historic center of Lima, Peru, is a colonial building that holds one of the country's scariest legends. Built in the 17th century, the house was the scene of a mysterious disappearance and a tragedy that haunts the city to this day. The house belonged to a Spanish captain and his wife, a young noblewoman. Shortly after the wedding, the captain was sent on an expedition and died in battle. Upon hearing the news, the young wife supposedly died of grief, but her body was never found, only her ghost, which appeared years later. Legend has it that the ghost of the young wife wanders around the house, especially at night, being seen in one of the windows. The mystery surrounding the disappearance of his body and the dark aura of the place made Casa das C. Chimneys a reference point for stories of hauntings in Lima. The Fascination with the Supernatural Interest in haunted houses is a reflection of our curiosity for the unknown. These ancient buildings, marked by tragedy, mystery and legend, offer a glimpse of what may lie beyond the physical world as we know it. Whether because of historical events, local legends or supernatural experiences, these houses continue to attract thrill-seekers, and fuel our imaginations about what really happens when the lights go out. Exploring these places, whether in real life or through their stories, is to dive into a universe where fear and curiosity go hand in hand. These are stories that remain alive, perpetuated by those who dare to open the door to the unknown. Who knows, maybe some of these legends are more real than we would like to believe.